Good morning and welcome. It's day 14, making our way out of the Salon de Provence. Looks like it's gonna be another beautiful sunny day. Looks like Rob's gonna be in the sun again all day. So we'll just be hoping for bits of shade along the way when we need to take breaks. Ooh, it's a little outdoor market. That's kind of cool. Actually, they told us about this last night. Um, but we're like, mm, we'll have a couple beers and probably call it a day. Anyway, oh yeah, it goes pretty far back over there. Yeah, it's like a flea market. So far, the route we've chosen today has been relatively quiet. We're on this nice small road as compared to that road over there, which is the, the fast road that you have to pay for. Surprisingly though, there's not as many cars on this road. Well, then again, here comes one or a bunch because this road doesn't cost you money. That road costs you money. This one is free. That one is not. And they both go the same way. Basically, we're not gonna get much more than this view because it just seems really flat. And this road is really straight and long. Still on that long, quiet road. Probably got another 14 kilometers on that road. That's how straight it is. But we did get a little bit of a view here. It opened up on this side. So we crossed the street to give you a view. Now we're going back. Finally off our really, really long straight road. Probably on that thing for a good 15 to 17 kilometers. I don't know exactly. But this is our town. This is where we're staying tonight. It's not an official Camino town, but it's where we're staying tonight. And uh, we still have almost two miles to go to find our hotel. And it looks like we're finally gonna be American because right next door to our hotel is an American place. And we've seen a bunch of them. And we're finally just gonna do it because we stopped for lunch and didn't really get lunch. We got a beer and a Coke, but it was the, the, this, uh, 24 hour, seven day a week truck stop. Something we've never seen in France. We've seen things that are open 24 hours in a day, but not seven days a week. We've seen places that are open seven days a week, but not 24 hours. I mean, they make a thing of it. They put up signs that say 24 slash 24 or seven or seven slash seven. This is the first time we've seen a place that says 24 slash 24 and seven slash seven but it wasn't really a nice place well at least for us and they weren't very nice to us so we don't like to say bad things so we didn't take a picture of it we didn't video it anyway we're at our town that's the most important thing now we got to get off this bike path on the other side of the street so we've made it to where we're staying now this place also has a gate that is locked that you need a code but their security here is not quite as high just by walking into this dirt parking lot. You can pretty much walk around it. The problem here is there's no one on duty until 5 p.m. on weekends. So if you put in your reservation code, like Rob did, and it doesn't open, then you don't get to go inside. Luckily, there were some very nice cleaning ladies who did not really speak English but helped me out got me in touch with somebody I could call on the phone and let them know it's like hey my code's not working and then they uh, were able to, to get me inside and of course now we're headed to, to lunch slash dinner here because there is really nothing around here so yeah we knew we wanted to come here now we pretty much figured it's the only place we're gonna go